Now, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sibian, Olayemi Kadoso, has assured that the institution will do all within its statutory functions to tackle the foreign exchange shortage in the country. According to him, his team will deal with identified distortions and ensure a conducive atmosphere for different categories of investors in the Nigerian economy. Well, moving on now, my guest Samuel Shomi is a seasoned capital market professional. He currently works at Iron Global Markets Limited, a subsidiary of Iron Capital, an Africa-focused investment bank in franchise based in Africa and a representative office in, Le in London. Before joining Iron Global in 2021, Samuel was the chief dealer of Rainbow Securities and Investment Limited, a dealing broker, dealer stockbroking firm in Nigeria. He joins me now to discuss on how speculation and holding are affecting the nation's forex regime, among other issues. Many thanks for joining me, Samuel. Oh, it's nice ple yeah, my pleasure being here today. All right, let's just dive straight into it. Uh, speculation, hoarding, and round tripping have been identified you know, as the bane of the appreciation of the value of the Naira. How best can the federal government address this issue? Well, thank you very much for asking that question. Um, uh, firstly, uh, the government have uh, identified the problem. Mm. Then the next thing is to provide a solution. Mm -hmm. uh, before the you know, coming in of this new administration, our FX market was characterized by multiple exchange rate yes, regimes. You understand? And that uh, regime created a lot of uh, loophole for currency round tripping and um, racketeering. Because uh, at that level, that time, you see what we observe is that people will go to the autonomous market to buy at spot and now take it to the black market mm. and other you know places to sell you know and um, the thing is that we must understand the the mechanics and the dynamics of the fx market itself um recently cbn have been complaining about speculation and hoarding mm -hmm. uh, good enough it is happening but speculation is a market ingredient mm -hmm. that we must understand in derivative market mm -hmm. What we use the derivative instrument for is for speculation and edging against foreign exchange risk. Okay. So, what is speculation in its simple sense? It is just the purchase of an asset with the belief that the value of the asset is going to arise in the short run. Mm -hmm. It is for short-term trading. Definitely, people will speculate around any financial asset, be it stock, be it um, uh, FX and any other you know, uh, financial instrument. But coming to the issue that we currently have now, mm -hmm. the, the new administration have decided to float the, the local currency, the Naira. Mm -hmm. And floating the Naira simply means we want to subject the value of the Naira to the forces of the demand, demand and supply. supply. Yes. And if you want to do that, it means we want to be looking at the mechanics of our import and our export. Mm -hmm. You understand? So for us to be able to stabilize the price of the Naira, we need to do more in terms of ensuring that we are increasing our export mm -hmm. so that we will be any more foreign Free exchange, exchange yes. and bringing it into the market so as to create liquidity for whoever that is demanding for it. Mm -hmm. So government has taken a right step in the right direction by first of all coming up with the statement that they want to now come up with an you know with a, with a, a transparent policy giving out the new direction the new FX, you know, direct uh, market structure and, mm. uh, you know, regulation in terms of how government wants the, 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 the transaction in the FX market to be done. Mm. It is very, very good making that pronouncement. Another thing that government did was to issue an executive order which is trying to look at how we can now be, you know, issuing out dollar-denominated instrument mm. within the local, you know, uh, market and also coming up with another dollar-denominated instrument that is targeted at people in diaspora. True. All this attempt is to ensure that we are increasing the supply side mm -hmm. of the market so that as soon as there is demand, there is adequate supply to match. Mm -hmm. And if we can ensure that definitely the Naira will appreciate the value. But, you know, coming up to say we want to start climbing down on, you know, uh, the and, course, and yes. people that are heading. I've said it in different fora that Firstly, God, government needs to engage all these market participants. Okay. Without these people in the market, there is no market. Mm. Without market participants. And in most cases, market pre-exists the, the rules. Mm. You see market uh, operators operating, then you come to regulate their operation. Yes. So government needs to 
approach every key stakeholder in the market engage them in deep conversation in the last uh, uh, statement the the creditor to the cbn governor i watched it live and i mm -hmm. listened to it you know I, I i'm so happy that he made mention of it that they are going to start engaging the market operators okay. engaging them laying the rules before them let them understand the mm -hmm. new direction that the government wants to move so that everybody can operate within the sphere mm -hmm. of the rules and okay. that we, you know, assist us to stabilize mm -hmm. the, 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 the value of Naya. I get all of that. And what, um, you know, Yemi Kadoso is trying to do with his openness and um, all the policies and, of course, uh, meeting with um, the relevant stakeholders. You have explained uh, hoarding and speculation, but I just really need to understand um, the implications, really, of um, hoarding, of uh, maybe speculating of um, these dollars on the nation's economy. Well, the... The impact of hoarding is that it will negatively impact the economy because it will create artificial scarcity mm -hmm. of that currency in the market. And once there's scarcity, the value of dollar will go up. Mm -hmm. You understand? And um, that is not going to help the country at all. Anybody that is you know, into that currently might be enjoying the, 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 the current situation, but they must bear in mind that to revive the Nigerian economy is a responsibility that beckons on everybody yes, in the country, even mm -hmm. Nigerians outside Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They too, they need to repatriate some of the earnings they made here and come and invest in their country. So diaspora investment. The, yes, there is need for you know we need to intensify action and advocacy on diaspora investment in Nigeria. Okay. Also, looking at what the president is doing now, engaging you know different countries speaking to them trying to tell them that nigeria is ready for business mm -hmm. is another way we can by which we can attract foreign investment into our country all that put together we are only trying to to build up the supply side mm -hmm. because by the time foreign investors are coming in whether in form of direct investment or in form of a, a foreign portfolio investment into equities and other instruments in our local market here what we bring to the market is that it's going to increase the injection of liquidity into the market. For others, they have to retrace their step. Okay. Because after the CBN fine tune is rule mm -hmm. and comes up with the rule, then the climbing down on mm -hmm. any defaulter will start. All right. That is very well understood. But over time, commercial banks uh, have been uh, indicted uh, in terms of... Uh, round tripping and uh, all of them um, this hoarding and speculation but i want you to break it down for us and um, how culpable they really are well that's a very sensitive question mm. and the way to look at it like i've said uh, we have different level of markets you know participants in this market cbn itself is a market participant yes, it the role it plays is that it injects liquidity into the market mm -hmm. the commercial bank they are also key stakeholder in the market they are market participants they play dual role they serve as the vehicle through which the injection of uh, liquidity into markets, you know, permeate, permeate into the market and circulate. Mm -hmm. That is what the commercial bank do. Another role they play is that they too also have a trading index. They also trade on the currency. Mm, yes, they do. You understand? So with that, what CBN should do is that CBN understand the language of the commercial bank very, very well. It needs to speak to them and let them know that okay this is the limit you can do with this mm. we can't really say the commercial bank should not play in the market any longer in terms of their own trading debt they have proprietary trading portfolio and the essence of trading in the market is to make profit true so we must be able to balance it uh, the bottom line is that every market participant should have the interest of the country at heart mm. and play fairly in the market Okay, I know this is Nigeria, and of course, uh, most of the transactions that we do locally are denominated uh, in Naira terms. But would you um, support local businesses charging their clients in FX in the country? Oh, well, that's another very sensitive uh, yeah. question. And the way to look at it is that at this point in time, now that we have subjected the value of Naira to forces of demand and supply, yeah. the honest breaking on us is that we must try to make sure that we increase the rate at which we can lower our propensity to import. Mm -hmm. If we can lower our propensity to import or demand for forex, yes. it's going to assist us in getting in restoring the value of Naira. Okay. The lower the demand mm -hmm. 
Mm. You understand? The higher the, 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 the value of Naira would be. Mm. If we reduce the demand for dollar, mm. that is, we are reducing the pressure. If we are bringing down the pressure on the demand side, mm -hmm. then the little we are getting from the supply side will be able to satisfy the market very well. Okay. Now, talking about companies that charges, you know, uh, for their services in dollar within Nigeria economy, government has to take a bold step towards copying that. Mm -hmm. You know, copying that. The set of business that will be doing that will not be business done by ordinary people in the Small country. Small businesses, yeah. It will be bigger corporations. It will be businesses that are backed by either PEP or some people in high, you know, authority in the country. All right. But the truth is this. We cannot tolerate it. Mm -hmm. Government must come up with a bold step to put an end to it. You can't be playing in our market and be charging in, in dollars. dollars. The reason is this. Fine. You can say that some of your equipment will be imported. Those equipment that are imported are one-off transaction. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? But when it comes to your daily operation, your core ordinary activities, which has to do with your daily operation, they are done in Naira. Mm -hmm. Everything you are going to be needing from your overhead cost, say, okay, your cost of energy, you are paying, you are paying for it in Naira. Naira sure. Your overhead cost in terms of staff, cost some of majority of your staff will be nigerians mm -hmm. you know except, except for the expatriates except for the e expatriate mm -hmm. then what is the proportion of the expatriates to nigerians that are working in this company to the extent that they can now be charging in dollars mm -hmm. you know that is another thing that is contributing to the pressure okay on the forex side mm -hmm. so government has to take a, a bold step it might it might look very tough but it is something we need to do mm -hmm. we know truly that there are some hospitals that have specialized you know uh, services they render yeah. do you understand but be that as it may this is our country the interest of the country must be very very paramount in our mind mm. and we must put the, the the record straight we just have to put it to there mm. if you want to play in our economy you must play within the rule we cannot tolerate you know, you charging in dollars. dollars. Why your operations are denominated in Naira, you know, uh, stuff. Okay, speaking of easing the demand for uh, forex uh, dollars and all of that, you talked in passing, you talked about uh, the need for more export. But over time, we still have issues, you know, exporting, you know, some of even agricultural produces from the country here. And um, do you really think all the barriers have been, uh, you know, have been taken care of to just uh, enable exportation to thrive in this country well to a very large extent uh, we need to look at our uh export uh you know zones and look at coming up with you know policy that will actually you know incentivize and you know policy that we mobilize people to go into those area and be sure. exporting those goods yeah. and another thing is this basically what we are currently exporting is crude oil and mm. some agricultural produce mm. we need to look at our local industry, mm -hmm. our manufacturing industry, our you know homegrown companies. Even the textiles to, and all yes, that. Yes, to what extent have has government been able to support these local manufacturers to the extent that they can export some of their produce? Mm. You understand? Those are the key things we need to look at if truly want to stabilize mm. our economy and stabilize the value of the Naira. We must support local production mm. of most of the items that we are importing support them to the extent that they can now be also exporting some of their product to neighboring sub-saharan african countries mm. if not to europe All right. you understand so those are the kind of things that the new government should try to come up with policy reforms and mm. look at those areas so that we will have a, a, a very stable economy mm. that will be resilient to mm. external shock all right uh, just before we let you go, I just have to throw this one in quickly because of time. Uh, closing the gap between the official rate and the parallel FX market rate, how can this be done uh, by government and what interventions do we really need to do at the short term? Uh, well, in the short run, government has started the intervention mm. by trying to clear the backlog of uh, FX forward. With, they've done with 31 banks. Yes. And uh, the CBN governor reaffirms the position of the CBN to continue to clear the backlog. We have a backlog of about, of about $6.7 billion. All right. And against the, the back uh, ground of the information that we're expecting an inflow of $10 billion from all, uh, crude oil sales. Right. You understand? So with that, 
government should continue to sustain they should sustain that action continue to inject liquidity into the market as liquidity is abound in the market definitely naira will begin to rally mm. another thing is this you look at every other player in the market we were talking about the banks what about the bds what about the mm -hmm. the aboki on the streets yeah. What the CBN needs to do, or the government needs to do, is to bring everybody together mm. into a well-regulated net, yeah. so that we can monitor the activity of everybody. This is not the time to neglect one one, one segment, mm. so thinking that all inclusive. It, it should be all inclusive, everybody, all right. because, like I said the other time, mm. the responsibility to revive Nigeria economy is a collective responsibility. So CBM policy must also be an holistic one right. that touches on every market participant's activity in the market. I right, thank you so much, um, Samuel. We could just go on and on specifically uh, about this um, SF, uh, FX issue because it actually does affect uh, all of us. My guest has been uh, Samuel Shomi, Capital Market Professional. Many thanks for all of the useful insights my that you have shared on the show for today. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, that's the size of the show for this morning. I am Justin Academy. Many thanks for being there. Bye for now.